Blackwell Productions speeding up and moving to the U.S. Here to talk about the big NVIDIA news today is Market Beat analyst Thomas Hughes. Thomas, it's the news everyone is talking about today. Right. Uh, we've got some unconfirmed reports coming from Reuters that NVIDIA is talking to Taiwan Semiconductors to bring Blackwell production to the Arizona facility that Taiwan Semiconductor is building. And that's really good news kind of for a couple of reasons. Onshoring uh, semiconductor production aligns with national interest. Um, it's expanding production for NVIDIA uh, to help them meet um, unmet demand. So it's really a good news, but there are still some hurdles for them to, to cross. Yeah, let's talk about some of those hurdles. Again, like you said, bringing semiconductor production back to the U.S. has been a goal of the country for quite a while, but it's not quite the fix that everyone's looking for. Well, well, right. So it's potentially a fix, but right now, Taiwan Semiconductor is not able to do 100% of the manufacturing process in Arizona. So right now, the outlook is that they would be able to begin production of the front end early next year, right? But it could be up to three years or longer before they start doing the full the full production process, which means that until then, they're going to have to start, they'll, they'll have to ship the chips back to Taiwan, which brings that risk back into the picture. So yes, this move can reduce the risk, but right now it's, it's not really doing it. Yeah, I feel like the motivation for this, we've been talking about Blackwell for months now, is just to really speed up that production. So There's so much demand for this new chip out there. This should at least help with that, and that should help NVIDIA's share prices as well. Right, I, I would think so. If they can get that production to start going early next year, they can Im improve the production outlook for next year and thereby meet the, the unmet demand. Like you said, the news today, unconfirmed reports from Reuters. Um, let's talk about what, how the stock price is reacting for NVIDIA, but also Taiwan Semiconductors. Well, really, both stocks are moving higher today. Um, if you look at the charts, they're kind of tied together. I mean, NVIDIA's growth is equal to Taiwan Semiconductor's growth because Taiwan Semiconductor makes most of the chips. Right now, they're both moving higher. They're both looking good, showing support, and it looks like their uptrends are intact. Yeah, analysts have been excited about NVIDIA all this year and have really good reports and good trajectory for this stock for next year. But this news uh, and some other news that you have in an article for us today uh, could also help move NVIDIA even higher than what analysts are predicting next year. Well, right. Uh, some comments from CEO Jensen Huang uh, has sparked some speculation in the market that the next iteration of the AI chips called Rubin could come out six months or more earlier than anticipated. Uh, so I think based on the comments, the market was expecting it to be a late second half uh, 2026 event. But uh, Jensen Huang's comments make it seem like it could be early 2026 or maybe even late 2025, uh, which would just uh, really boost the demand outlook and the outlook for revenue and bring forward the outlook for revenue growth based on those chips. Yeah, I think this is a testament to just how quickly AI technology is advancing. NVIDIA, of course, at the forefront of that, but announcing the next generation of chips, even before Blackwell hits uh, the market fully, is uh, just how fast this AI industry is advancing. Oh, right. I wouldn't be surprised at all if we don't hear about maybe two or three other new next generations of chips, even before Rubin's released. That's still like at least 12, 15 months away. So yeah, there's a, there's a good amount of time for them to make some advances. I think that you're, you're exactly right. This industry is moving by leaps and bounds really fast. There's going to be some major advances over the next year. And that's good news, not only for NVIDIA, but really a lot of different AI stocks. Check out the free Market Beat report on seven AI stocks to invest in. It's an introduction to AI investing for self-directed investors. There's a lot of potential in this market, and you can check out which seven stocks are set to take off in the AI industry by checking out the free report. Just scan the QR code or look for the link in the comments. Well, let's talk about bringing that production back to the U.S. of semiconductors. There's really been a push for this uh, within the U.S. Uh, recently, especially. Well, well, right. It seems to be um, an issue that both sides of the aisle can agree on because uh, most of the most of the world's chips are made in Taiwan. And that's really not a good thing because of how close it is to China. China kind of wants to take over Taiwan. So there is a lot of risk for the world's semiconductor supply. So bringing chips back to the U.S. Uh, would greatly improve the supply chain and improve uh, security. Absolutely. Uh, one more time, you have mentioned it a little bit, talking about the timeline of when that Arizona plant for Taiwan semiconductors could be ready to go. 
Right. So Taiwan Semiconductor's plant will be able to start making black belt chips early next year. Uh, so it'll be, I mean, maybe five or 10 years for them to have their own plants available for doing the final packaging. But there's another company called Amcor who has made a deal with Taiwan Semiconductors to build um, what's called, it's COWAS, C-O-W-O-S, chip on wafer on substrate facility in Arizona alongside these other facilities. So that should be available in about three years. So we got about a three-year window until this plan would bear fruit regarding, you know, fully nationalizing um, black world production into the U.S. All right, let's talk about how investors can play news like this. As you just mentioned, this is really news that's a long-term kind of news. It's going to have a long-term impact on the company, but we're seeing that short-term boost in stock prices today. Is today a big news day, a good time to get into the stock, or is it better to wait a little while? Will the, the long-term payoff come no matter when you get in? Well, right now, NVIDIA stock is kind of consolidating near new highs and above this critical support level. So it is a pretty decent time to get into the market if you think it's going higher. Um, like you said, this news is more of a, of a long-term kind of a news. It aligns with the outlook. It helps to bolster the outlook. It doesn't really move the needle so much today or this coming quarter, but it will over time. And I think that uh, NVIDIA stock price will continue to trend higher because of it. All right. Thanks for the information, Thomas. And thank you for joining us here on Market Beat. Check out our other NVIDIA coverage right here on Market Beat as well. And as always, thanks for joining us and happy investing.